A to Z, your quick guide to all the fashion brands you should have on your radar for spring, summer 20, plus all the best pieces I found new in on the high street. Essentially, this is your virtual little black book from the world of fashion. If you're not already subscribed, it would be great if you could show your support and do so, and never miss a video by clicking the bell button beside it. Okay, let's get stuck in with the best of the bees. From Balenciaga to Billabong, BCBG, and even Biscuiteers, there should be a little something for everyone. But first, let's start with Bella Freud. After first studying in Rome and with a stint at Vivian Westwood, the London fashion designer launched her label in 1990. Her knitwear fast became some of the most recognisable in fashion, loved by the likes of Alexa Chung, Kate Moss, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, and Poppy Delevingne, to name but a few. I love this line striped sweater that's definitely on my wish list. And though I'm not normally fond of such bright colours, there's something about the 1970s jumper in red that I just absolutely love. And also on my shopping list would be this tough cookie t-shirt and the 1970 rainbow candle. Now I've been a fan of the BCB collections for at least 15 years. Strolling down Rodeo Drive, having my own pretty woman moment, I came across their store for the first time. I needed an outfit for a wedding and I still have that dress in my wardrobe today. So if ever I need something for a special occasion, BCBG are always on the list. This spring, summer 20, they've embraced everything that was elegant and feminine that we saw on the catwalk and translated it in their own beautiful style. I've absolutely fallen in love with this embroidered midi dress with its tassels and ruffles I think it was definitely made for me and I really like the shorter version too in that deep pacific blue this one retails at £229. I also love this cuff bracelet, this shirt, but I wish they'd made that a little bit longer. And yellow and polka dots, I couldn't resist. I'll have to link all my favourites in the description box below because I could go on for a while with all my favourites from their collection. British brand Balkan not only have a beautiful, timeless and elegant collection, but they're also really committed to being as sustainable, ethical and transparent as a company as possible. From their new spring summer collection, I love this ethically made indie dress. I love the way the shape nips in at the waist and that drop seam frill giving you a lovely shape as you move. I'd also really like to try their girlfriend jeans too, which look like they've got the right amount of stretch to be comfortable, but the perfect fit to feel on trend at the same time. Brother Bellies was founded back in 2013 by designer Aurora James. Celebrating traditional African design handmade by artisans, her collection of heels, sandals, mules and everything in between really stands out. I love the espresso toned sandals with that small kitten heel and one with ankle socks like they've styled it. I think it looks super cool. These basket weave mules in a gorgeous tone of cognac and they have this amazing selection of nude tone heels to match lots of different skin colours. I personally love the Frida pumps best and I do find that style really elongates my legs. The whole brand by Rido was created by the enigmatic Ben Gorham back in 2006. Now if you've never read about him, you really should. He's such an interesting character. I've even included an article I read about him in the description box below, so you can read that after this video. But essentially, he went from being a pro basketball player to art school, and then after a chance meeting with a perfumer, launched by Rido. So to begin with, I bought the Rose of No Man's Land perfume. I absolutely love it. It's just beautiful and the scent lasts all day as well so they're really good on that front. I also really love the unnamed perfume and strangely I smelt it first of all in Liberties and then didn't see it again for about two years but I noticed it's back in stock on his website. He also makes candles and home fragrance and there's some body creams as well and I also just noticed they've just launched a beautiful collection of handbags. I honestly think he's a visionary of our time and whatever he throws his hand to will be a huge success so definitely one to watch. I've been meaning to do a Balzac Paris haul for quite a while now and it's definitely on the list. But the young French fashion house is everything I love for really achieving that perfect effortless chic. 
One of the owners actually describes the brand as trendy but never victim, which I really like. It's understated, timeless and playful, but with those sustainable credentials to match. This season I would buy this mustard yellow long dress, the Lilia braided sandals, the Tallinn jumpsuit looks a little different to others I've seen out there. Plus, I've said it before, but I also absolutely love this little black knitted dress perfect for getting that French girl style. B is for Bash Paris, the brand created by two best friends with a zest for easygoing elegance. I must admit, I struggle looking at their collection online because there isn't much that I wouldn't add to basket. But if there's one thing they do really, really well, it's definitely their dresses. They're free-spirited and carefree, but beautifully crafted. Whether you go bohemian style, Parisian chic, floor sweeping, understated glamour, or even with this black and gold sprinkled dress. I just love them all. I would highly recommend you have a look at their collection. Founded by Carol Bamford, who also owns Dalesford Farm, which is one of the most sustainable, pioneering organic farms in the UK. Bamford was created with a vision that what we put on our bodies is just as important as what we put into them. Just heading into their Vista store last year, I instantly felt relaxed. It was like a peaceful attack on the senses, from the beautiful scents of their candles, bath washes and essential oils, to the feel of their cashmere and cottons and natural textures for the home. Sadly, we haven't quite got smell of vision just yet, so I'll link all my favourite scents that I smell in store in the description box below. Christabel Balenciaga launched the brand back in 1917, and incredibly showing his collection back in World War II in Paris, he was definitely known as a visionary. And of all the big fashion houses, it's definitely one of my favorites. I love the shape of this hourglass handbag made from grained calf skin and Nappa leather lining. The 80s inspired biker jacket is pretty incredible, but don't even look at the price tag, I'm daydreaming here. And though I know those clumpy trainers are all the rage, I'd personally go for the cozy slides instead. Blue is the colour trend of spring summer 2020 and of course we saw it all over the catwalks for this season. Along with scarlet red, coral pink, hues of mint, blue in all its beautiful saturations was definitely in the mix. You could introduce the colour with just a simple tee like this one which came in at £17. A beautiful powder blue suit at Reese or even just those cropped trousers on their own, styled with a simple camisole would look beautiful. And then I found this pretty Lyocell denim blue dress at just $29.99. So you don't have to spend a fortune to introduce something that's really on trend, like a particular colour. There are definitely lots of options available on the high street. Launched back in the 70s in New York City, Bumble and Bumble have gone from strength to strength. Their range of affordable but effective hair care quickly became a fashionista favourite worldwide. My personal favourites are their Go Big Thickening Treatment at just £24 and it really works. I love their Invisible Oil Conditioner, but the Surf Spray is my absolute favourite for creating my favourite beach waves hair. Bottega Veneta was founded in the 60s in Vicenza, Italy. Now, if you're not familiar with the brand, they create incredible handbags that are instantly recognizable for that distinctive weave design of the leather called Intricato. I feel very lucky to have one of their handbags in my collection. I don't use it very much at the moment, but it's definitely staying with me forever. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. I love their bright pops of colour from their new collection with that gorgeous deep shade of coral. But if I could choose just one bag right now, I would have to go with the classic weave design with the Jody bag in caramel. It's just so stunning, it literally takes my breath away. Now this next one is a bit of a random swerve. It's not quite fashion, but I think it's got a bit of a fashion flair about it. I don't know how or where I discovered this independent British brand, but I'm really glad I did. Biscuiteers make the coolest looking cookies for every possible occasion you can imagine, and they all arrive in this little hand-illustrated gift box or a gift tin. If I'm ever stuck for a prezi for someone, I know I can go on their website and find the perfect gift 
that's just a little bit different. Birthdays, thank yous, get well soon, or new babies, there's a cookie or two for every celebration. Born in Manhattan back in 2007, Blank New York City has been bringing us their cool take on denim ever since. And if you're looking for some denim shorts this season, I can highly recommend you take a look at their collection. I love this distressed all-star pair, and though I would never personally wear them with white ankle boots, I think the fit and the wash look great. I really like the Caribbean blue version for something a little bit different, and I think these black vintage wash jeans are super cool. Now Surfer Chic doesn't get much more authentic than an Aussie brand Billabong. Originally launched from the designer's home in the 70s, the brand quickly became a household name worldwide. And in my humble opinion, it's an often overlooked high street favorite. Being a fan of laid back chic, their relaxed styles really appeal to me. I love this bohemian style mini in that beautiful rust tone. I'd get loads of wear out of this vintage style coral tee, and this cover up is just my style. Clean formulas are really at the heart of bare minerals and I do find that their skincare and their makeup is really gentle on my skin. There's no animal testing, parabens or palm oils and they never get silly with their prices either. It often stays really affordable. I use their oil obsessed cleansing oil which I find amazing on my dry skin. I just bought some of their mineral veil powder after realizing my current cheap one was leaving me a little bit chalky and I've read so much about their award winning complexion rescue tinted moisturizer I need to give that a try next. B is for Beach Riot, courtesy of Newport Beach local Nicole Hanriot. Though they do create gym and day wear, it's the swimwear that really stands out for me. It's modern and bold, but at the same time, it's got that cool California spirit to it. I would buy this red, white, and blue bikini, and I think this high-waisted bottoms are really flattering in swimwear. And I love the shape of the leaf print on this one. And for a one piece, it would have to be the Celine. Bit of a nightmare on your tan lines, but who cares? You'd look very chic while in it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you lots of inspiration for outfits for this spring, summer 20, all the best pieces that are on the high street and with the designers, and also hopefully some new brands that you might not have heard of before. If you missed the first edition, the best of the A's, I will pop a link to that in the description below. And up next will be the best of the C's, so do let me know all your favorite brands beginning with C in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm always really grateful for all your support, all your likes, your comments, sharing the video. I do really, really appreciate it. I will be back in a couple of days with another fashion video for you, so I hope to see you then. Take care.